I've been fortunate to be a part of some great stories over the last 30 years or so, but recently on a trip to Pasadena, I was able to meet a 10 year old who loves sports, absolutely loves sports and hasn't let a birth defect stop him from achieving his goals. When you hear from Jackson Payton, you'll know why he's a true inspiration. Jackson, I want to start with you. Uh, how you feel with all these lights on you, man? It's, uh... Pretty bright. <laughs> Ten-year-old Jackson Payton is a multi-sport athlete who excels in soccer, football, and wrestling at Pasadena's First Baptist Christian Academy and in his Deer Park Recreational Leagues. When you think of being on the football field, what do you like most about it? Hitting. <laughs> Remarkably, this standout athlete was born without both of his hands. The diagnosis of amniotic band syndrome came at the 20 week ultrasound before Jackson was born. Inside the amniotic sac, little microscopic tears will, will pull off. It's kind of like fishing wire and they'll get wrapped around different limbs. For him, they believe that it was wrapped around before the hand started developing. Mm -hmm. So it cut off blood flow and nutrients and that's why they didn't develop. They warned us that we'll probably have more problems with it than he would. And it's still, pro it's still true to that today. Nothing has stopped <laughs> Jackson from going out there and doing what he loves to Nothing. do. Nothing. If he wants to do it, he's gonna figure it out. Yeah. We just pretty much just let him go. As a toddler, Jackson worked with occupational therapists at Shriners Children's Hospital to learn how to do things like grab a spoon and write. Now he's got great penmanship and he likes to draw and paint and that's awesome that's awesome he'll just figure his own way his own way to do it he'll see a problem and right. try to work through it and uh he hardly ever asked for help and we kind of made it that way mm -hmm. uh, and i wanted him to struggle and see ways and make his brain work yeah. and try to figure it out because we wouldn't always be there for him those problem solving skills are an asset for jackson on the wrestling map we might call it a limitation, but to, you know, I see it as a really a strength for Jackson because he has to, you know, um, do things with such uh, greater technique. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. his very first match, you know, that he had, he went out and pinned the kid in, in the first round. It, wow. it took a little less than a minute. And that, I mean, what, every, was the, it, what was the feeling? That, that's the thing. Like you know, a lot of people are kind of watching, intrigued by mm -hmm. this, you know, this boy who you could just tell just nothing's going to stop this kid. Right. And awesome. um, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a true blessing. But football season is Jackson's time to shine. Jackson's dad Keith is one of his coaches. The coaches treat him like any other kid. So while he's playing, if he messes up, they'll get onto him. When he does well, they'll. So uh, they'll praise him, yeah. and we expect him to perform just like any other kid. No he, favors, no nothing. No, if he's no. there to make a tackle, he needs to make a tackle, we'll pull him to the sideline and coach him up and put him back out there. I remember the first time he got an open field tackle, that was pretty big for all of us. Our goal was just have him, ha have him get one. And then we kicked it off, and the, the kick returner was running the back, and he stayed in his lane like, like we practiced all week, and he, uh, he potentially saved the, the touchdown. Mm. By the way, he never ran my way again. You kind of, they were afraid of you probably, right? <laughs> you remember that first tackle, open field tackle you Yes, had? I was happy as heck. <laughs> I mean, was it one of those dream come true kind of yeah. moments for you? One of those tackles that just... Big confidence booster, huh? Yep. So, they think that I'm not gonna, like, do good and then... You show them you can, you can yep. battle them pretty good, I bet. Mind blown. They were mind blown. It makes me feel good that I showed them that I can do stuff that other people can't. That's awesome. Every time he's out there, every time he's just doing that unimaginable, unthinkable yeah. that most people, you know, would think he couldn't. And I couldn't be any more proud of him. I bet. He, I is, bet. he amazes me every day. He inspires me every day. And while he's already defying the odds, this unstoppable young athlete has big dreams. You're only 10 years old. You got a big life ahead of you. What What do you uh, What do you see yourself doing in the years ahead? Do you have some want some dreams go and NFL. goals? <laughs> What's that? Want, I want to go to the NFL. You want to go to the NFL? Yeah. Set your goals, man. <laughs> what do you want to do in the NFL? What position do you want to play? I don't care. Just put me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and make plays, right? Mm -hmm. This being around here for a few minutes, I bet the sky's the limit for you. I bet you can pick anything you want. That's what I was going to say. I was like, maybe the sky's the limit.